hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to learn how to solve problems involving exponential equations using the Casio FS Nalawa ES plus second edition scientific calculator faster than seconds for multiple choice questions and after going through this video you'll be able to solve problems like this you encounter meet using this calculator so ensure it stays here at the very end of this video okay so having known that let's get started now, the very first thing you will get to do will be to reset the calculator, which I normally recommend, guys. To so reset it, just press shift button, I put instructions. Once you reset, or you press 3, press support, and press support again. So we are good to go. Let's begin with question 1. So we have this exponential equation. It says 9 to the power of x times 16 to the power of x equals 12. So we are looking for the value of x. Now, to solve this, guys, it's very, very easy with the calculator. Let's impute the values on the calculator. So we have 9 to the power of x to impute the power. You make use of this power function alpha and this button for s to come out. You come down. So we have times 16 to the power of x. Make use of the power function alpha and x come down. So, guys, to bring this equality sign on the calculator. Look at what we are going to do to bring it out. We press alpha and this calc button. So it will come out equals 12. Okay. So we are looking for the value of S, guys. Now, at this juncture, don't press this equal to. When you press it, to will give you center's error. Alright. Let me show you. If you press this now, you're going to see center's error. Let's go back. Now, the right button or the right procedure to go about when you reach here is to press shifts okay and this calc button for solve okay press shift and this calc button so you'll be asked to assign a value for x always assign zero to x here when you get here just press zero okay we are good to go so at this junction now we can go ahead and press the equals button okay so once you do it it will solve it for you x is equal to 0 0.5 so it's as simple as this guys now you will notice that when you store x as 0 0.5 and use it to solve 9 to the power of x times 16 to the power of x you get 12. let's experiment it guys so you guys understand it's better but the value of x is 0.5 let's check let's store it and see if we're going to get 12 attached puts that's how to verify if what you solve is correct so store x as 0.5 okay shift this store button want to store it as x so we are good to go so we have 9 to the power of x okay times 16 to the power of x so that's it guys press equal to 12 so we are correct guys so let's solve question 2 very very simple so question 2 we have 5x we have to the power the power is a fraction 2 over 3 all right okay then we have to equal to to the equal to sign guys press alpha and this 80 so that's it now to solve this we press shift this calc button assign your x to be zero all right guys assign your x to be zero don't allow it to be the value the calculator is showing you ensure that the x is assigned zero so we're having 0 0.5 here it's not what we want just press zero okay then press equal to i need to solve it for you the output is what 64 okay so we are making progress guys let's x is 64 all right let's go ahead and solve question three let's remove this guys so question three is and we have in bracket x okay plus three close the bracket to the power y is in fraction four okay over three all right come down equal to alpha and this 
16. So that's it. Press shift and cut button for solve. As an X to be zero. So that's the press button now. So the output X is equals to what? 5. Very, very simple, guys. Now, before you saw the last question, if you are new to this channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. I really appreciate this, guys. Uh, it helps the YouTube algorithm to promote more of my videos to people out there for them to notice my videos and also take advantage of them. Alright, thanks, guys, for supporting me on this channel. Having done that, let's get and solve the last question and call it a class. Remove this. So we have 8 to the power x alpha x minus 3. Okay, you come down equal to alpha this bottom. Then a fraction we have 32 to the power x alpha x. Okay, plus 2. Alright, then you come down denominator we have 4 to the power negative x so that's it guys let's press shift card now to solve this problem we have assign x to be zero press equal to so it's something for us all right so we have x is what minus four 0.75 that's the answer to this question so guys this basically can solve problems involving exponential equations or functions using the Casio FS and our ES plus second edition scientific calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions hope there's something interesting from this video if you are new to this channel once more ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos also like share and comment on this video so tell me how you feel from what I learned from this video if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding the things I've talked about in this video, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. Alright, don't forget to reset once you are done, just press shift to button 9, put the instructions, press your code and press your code to again. So, you are good to go. Click on the end screen above now and I'll see you in my next video.